What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we are back in Australia with the Bam Fam Lamb. I know I sound a country saying that, but we here with seven impressive things Australia does best. Uh shout out to the Bam Fam Lamb, because I followed them on Instagram. they him, their family, and uh my guy Ross family, you know, and me personally, they helped me. That's how I know what's going on, what time it is and stuff in uh Australia because I watch their stories first thing when I wake up or no, I think it's about, it might be about six in the morning, like maybe around three ish our time, my time, three or four ish or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I, I'll be checking it. That's how I know what time it is in Australia because I follow them, you know what I'm saying? So, but definitely always enjoy. I think I've only done maybe one or two of their videos, but hopefully, you know, uh, their channel continues to grow, you know, so uh, if you're not from Australia, hopefully you get to check out their family. You know, if you're from a different country, they do some awesome stuff. I like this family. I like this family a lot as well. So, but we're going to check out these seven impressive things Australia does best. They do a lot of things. It's different down there. It's very different. So let's see. Ben. Yes. What should we do for a video this week? I've been thinking about that. This should be... What Australians do best. Oh. There are some things that oh, Australia yeah. really does jamming. best. And here are seven of those things. Number one is the healthcare. I really can't of think course, of anywhere of else that does healthcare like Australia. Recently, some friends of ours came over for a visit and they was astonished by how quick the medical system was. They even managed mm. to get a same day doctor appointment. And then when That's she went nice. to the appointment, she was in and out. She'd gone to her doctor's appointment, got a blood test next door, and got a prescription from the chemist all within 20 minutes. She couldn't believe it. And to be What? I thought she was gonna say at least less than an hour or something like that. 20 minutes? Hold up, Doc. Run that again. Let me make sure. That's crazy, man. Y'all know how long the wait times are here in the States? That's 20 minutes. That's crazy. To be honest, we've never seen a country that does it quite Dang. like that either. Obviously, this is possibly not in every they place work in pretty Australia, fast. especially if you go rural. But certainly where we are the majority of pathology places are pretty close to the doctors and you can usually walk in wow. you know there might be certain things that you can't just walk into such as a ct scan but um, the um, majority of testing you can get pretty quickly however australia thing. is managing this they're doing it really well i honestly can't think of another country where you get the kind of service and it's a public medical system mm. i mean tell, tell us if we're wrong put it in the comments we'd love to know but we we don't know Winnie, anywhere man, that I'm does still better stuck healthcare on. than australia That's on a nice. public system Good on you, Australia. Number I'm still two stuck on 20 minutes. is the pay. So Australians are paid incredibly <laughs> well, and Show I know that, that a few of um, a few of you have commented in the past that Australian prices are high, and so it doesn't really make much difference. But actually, Australia pay a fair living wage. I do think that <laughs> after pay, Australians do have some money generally left over for life. Okay, Australia has. A like most countries been impacted by the current global issues so although wages are high many of them are now finding themselves different circumstances there there's also a housing crisis oh style that's and not good due to lack of supply although you prices. might not think it's Ooh, a lot they're kind of if here too. from australia i feel that a lot of australians get a better standard of living and lifestyle than in many other countries i think australia are doing it very well number three is the coffee so. we don't even Not drink coffee, coffee but even we know australians do it best it's <laughs> brought into their lives quite an early age i see a lot of school kids like high school kids they're actually drinking coffee already wow um, they actually sell it to them in the schools i think australians would actually admit some coffee um, that they are coffee snobs if you're used to australian <laughs> coffee then to go and drink coffee elsewhere you'd probably i'm definitely i'm not a coffee drinker either but um Usually, if I drink coffee, that's how you know. I probably did not sleep that day. That's the only time I would drink some coffee. I don't know. I, I, other than my wife gets Starbucks, but it's not coffee. She gets those other drinks, stuff like that. But 
with coffee, I had a situation where, you know, we was out of town for a tournament, you know, I, if I, I don't think y'all even know, I, I have a basketball program, you know, we were coaching and stuff, we had a situation where we was up all night, and I didn't get back to the hotel till like four o'clock, because one of my players got hurt on his own terms, it wasn't even for basketball, but I was like, man, look what you're making me do, you're making me drink coffee, I don't even drink coffee. But now nah, I get it. In high school, that's different though. Drinking yeah. coffee, I, I knew a lot of people that. too. Even as yes. non-coffee drinkers, we are well aware that the Australian coffee standards are high. Number four is Aussie friendliness coffee. and service. We are really impressed by it. So you go into somewhere and people are smiling, people are friendly, people welcome you. They want good. you to be there. I mean, obviously this isn't the case in every single place. You're always going to get a rogue employee somewhere, but or owner somewhere. But as an overall general thing, we think that Australia does it best. We've not been anywhere friendlier. Probably the friendliest place we've ever been. Nice, but nice. there is one cafe which is very famous to be very rude in Brisbane. Oh, is that in Brisbane? It's in uh, <laughs> one of the Westfields. Uh oh, oh Brisbane. is it? I didn't know that. Uh, I actually saw someone took their do you want to say the name of it? I can't think. It's I don't know the name of it. Karen's Restaurant. That's oh. it. Oh, <laughs> it'll be a Karen. When you go there, they just insult you constantly. Um, and try and throw you out, give you really bad service, but it's part of the theme. Oh! Yeah. It's a Karen. And people take their family <laughs> members there and record it for a giggle. Number f <laughs> That's crazy. I, I've i never heard of anybody do it. Like, I know they... I think they have something like that maybe in LA, but I don't... I may be wrong, but I've seen some where they... Somebody calls somebody a certain word and stuff. But that's different. I... Five. Yeah, I'd definitely is be that surprised. So many areas here get to retain their identity. Everywhere is not the same in Australia, and That's all a good of these thing. individual towns and individual beautiful Ooh. suburbs, they've all got their own personality. Even the different cities, it's it's not like it's all just become the same. I think where a lot of places in the world have got more built up, they've lost a lot of that character and charm because everything's become a bit samey, whereas Australia's really managed to retain it in many of their towns. Even the various cities within Australia, they've all retained a, a character of their own and there's, you know, there's a big difference between every city within Australia. Anywho, That's a good thing. so that makes Australia really special because as we've said in previous videos, you can go to all these different places and you're going to have a different experience everywhere you go That's good. because they've kept their identity. So number six is the artisan culture. Australians artisan. love beautiful handmade crafts and mm. over here they're very, very good at it. And the great thing is about these, um, the artisan culture here is that it is supported by all of these markets that we have. Mm. Make so it, make it's it, a perfect it, environment it. like for like artisans that. to thrive. Number seven. You count it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed my fingers. <laughs> Number seven is seven. that the Australians like have that. the chance to kickstart themselves financially. So one of the incredible things here is that Ain't there are jobs like that you can go to. So either um, FIFO, which is like fly in, fly out, or you can go and work in the middle of nowhere and you get paid a really high wage. Mm. That might not be something you can continue long term, but it gives a lot of young people a kickstart to That's getting real a good. together for a house or, you know, anything that you... That's a good thing. I probably would have took that option because, you know, of course, waiting on college, you know, takes some time, but I worked at a restaurant. I worked at a restaurant, working hard too, for two dollars. Um, at least without tips if i got the tips for, are good you get oh, okay that i guess to do it and as i said it's not something that everybody can do long term and certainly maybe not when you've got a family some people yeah. do but That's true. That's um true. but it's a great opportunity for people to kickstart their um their savings and their finances i know a lot of guys that have started their careers out going to the mine why they're away uh, working then they're just putting that money away because the mines are actually paying for all their food and lodgings. Oh. So they're just putting money away constantly. That's and good. Like Matt said, they get paid a decent wage. Um, sometimes you don't even 
to have experience in what you're doing. It might even be that you're a cook or a chef and, you know, yeah. and again, they pay you good uh, good rates because I you're having good. to work in the middle of nowhere. And it doesn't matter what your background is, where you come from, every Australian has that opportunity to get out That's and good. really kickstart themselves financially. So, <laughs> wait, oh. stop. If you hear lots what of people puffing and puffing on this video, it's not just me. It's not us. It's the, <laughs> the dogs. dogs. They're, oh. they're running around. I feel like they were oh, targeting me. Yeah. They are seven. <laughs> so cool, Ben. So cool. Maths. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> so weird. If you do want to go for a really bad experience, go there. <laughs> we oh, have go to where? <laughs> Probably will do because I like to take this carrot. I'm not a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> this flower looks like it's like a headpiece. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, I've got a bonnet. <laughs> not no plugs. I'm not being induced. Yeah, we've not, not actually juiced. been. <laughs> so not what being... is wrong with you? I'm not well. Oh I've yeah, got you've COVID. got COVID. <laughs> oh dang. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check this one out. That's me. Wrap in 2022. I'll hold it. <laughs> we'll see you next week. No, this is good. This is funny. But no, you know, Australians, the Aussies does it best. You know what I'm saying? The Aussie, the Aussie way, you know? But definitely enjoy it. Like I said, I always enjoy this family, uh, their content as well. So, hey, I appreciate you guys. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Continue to send down more recommendations. Give the video a thumbs up. And y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.